The ACLU says, the ACLU never stopped defending freedom of speech. Oh, yes, you have, you lying cucks. On the contrary, what you may have read, we're not stopping now, says David Cole, certified liar. Uh, earlier this month, the ACU argued before the U.S. Supreme Court of Appeals in the Tenth Circuit in defense of a high school student expelled for temporarily posting a Snapchat picture of his friends dressed in World War II era clothes at a thrift store with the caption, me and the boys about to terminate the... Um, the God's chosen people. He took it down thereafter and apologized for what was a stupid and deeply offensive joke. But the school expelled him nonetheless. We argued that while the anti-Semitic message was deeply offensive. What was anti-Semitic? What was anti-Semitic about it? He, he made a reference. Oh my... God, I have to explain humor. Listen, if I go on stage and I'm like, man, I'm a piece of shit, and everyone laughs at me, that's called self-deprecating humor. That's what these boys were doing. They go, hey, look, we dressed up like a bunch of World War II bad guys. We're about to exterminate some people. The joke is, that's a horrible thing to do. Why would you do that? You're, it's a joke. It's not serious. We don't actually believe it when people do it on stage. Why do we have to believe it when 13-year-olds send it through a Snapchat message? The anti-Semitic message was deeply offensive. But it was also protected by the First Amendment when uttered outside the school and could not be the basis for the punishment. Oh yeah, ACLU? I'm about to test you if you even believe this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up an actual case where the ACLU has done nothing. As far as I know. In doing so, we were only doing what we've always done. Defending f speech rights for all, even those of whom we disagree. Lies. Okay, guys. I present you with... What's his name? Lucas Gerhard. State, mar state lawmakers and gun right groups on Tuesday called for changes to Michigan's terrorism laws after Lake Superior State University student was charged for posting a photo of his rifle on social media, Snapchat, and saying it would melt snowflakes. So, the night before returning to school in his junior year, Gerhard sent a photo of his newly purchased AR-15 rifle to a group of friends on Snapchat, so not the whole school at large. None of the people who complained or reported on him saw were, were gifted Snapchat. Uh, the text said, taking this bad boy up, about to make the snowflakes melt, eh? And by snowflakes, and I mean snowflakes as in snow. <laughs> So he's even qualifying it. I don't know how this is a terroristic threat, but apparently it is. He has been locked at what, a stay-at-home arrest for over two years now. He has spent 83 days in jail before that. And this is a free speech violation as far as I'm concerned. Where is the ACLU? Where are they? He talked to the police, trying to you know, thought th thinking the police were good guys, and they actually arrested him the following following day. One woman took a friend and reported his posting. His trial is set for March. Has been postponed because of he may have a new tree. Okay. Well, if we get updates on this, you'll know. If you guys like this type of content, leave a like down below, subscribe, share for friends.